The overall goal of this procedure is to obtain reliable results from ball mill liquid assisted grinding or lag experiments as illustrated by equilibrium crystal phase composition curves obtained using various solvent conditions. This method can help answer key questions about the final equilibrium outcomes of the ball mill grinding process and the role of solvent at equilibrium under lag conditions. The main advantage of this technique is that the rigorous approach to experimental design allows exploration of the key factors controlling the polymorphism of very small crystals. Our findings suggest that surface effects are significant in polymorphism at the nanoscale and that the outcomes of equilibrium milling experiments are generally controlled by thermodynamics. To begin calibration, set an air displacement pipette to reverse pipetting mode, which aspirates an excess of solvent. Set the aspiration and dispensing speeds to the lowest values and the volume to 10.0 microliters. Tear a capped 2 ml glass vial on a 5 figure analytical balance. Then, fit a pipette tip to the pipette nozzle with a single firm vertical motion, being careful not to twist or bend the pipette tip on the pipette nozzle. Aspirate and dispense 10 microliters of the selected solvent five times in a continuous sequence to prime the pipette tip. Then, immediately aspirate 10 microliters of the solvent with the pipette held vertically and the tip 2 to 3 millimeters below the surface of the liquid. Place the end of the pipette tip against the inner wall of the teared 2 milliliter glass vial, holding the pipette at a 30 to 45 degree angle to the vial wall. Dispense the solvent and gently tap the tip against the vial wall to...